What is up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing some arena. This is uh, my official sponsored arena stream. Huge thanks to Wizards of the Coast for helping me out with um, a large bevy of gems and booster packs. They've been doing a great job with their uh, their rollout with arena as far as sponsoring streamers, getting us all super hyped to stream stream the game. And frankly, arena is great. So uh, it's been a lot of fun playing and um, having the extra tools to do so is awesome. So huge thanks to Wizards. Appreciate that. And if you haven't played Arena, it's free. Go download it. I mean, it's free to play. You can grind out. You can you can put money into it. You can play however you want to play, but it's free to download. I can't wait till it's on mobile. That's the big one for me. I want to see it on mobile. But um, we're playing some standard today. And we are playing perhaps one of the most... I don't want to say best. I want to say techie decks that we've seen in standard in a long time. Standard has been not great in the last few years, you know, and part of the reason for that is often said to be, um, you know, the hive mind, Magic Online. There's so many matches played, so many tournaments, so much data that formats get solved very, very quickly. And because of that, you know, on at Pro Tours and stuff, we tend to see the decks we expect, and there just isn't really any tech, you know. Nobody breaks the format. There's no surprises. It's been kind of boring. And this deck right here is the deck that Luis Scott Vargas and Channel Fireball played at Pro Tour uh, Guilds of Ravnica. And uh, if it wasn't for some a mulligan to four in game five of the finals, LSC might have won the whole tournament. And what did they do? So we see a bunch of planes here. My prediction article, planes, I told you. Coolstuffinc.com. Go to my articles, read them. We see a bunch of planes and we see a Boros deck, right? So what's so, what's so exciting about this? Well, LSV and Channel Fireball Company chose to play as their four of their one drops and four of their two drops for Leon and Vanguard. Which is a little off screen there. I apologize for that. I can do it over here. For Leon and Vanguard. Simple one drop. So one, one for one. And then if you have three more creatures, a combat becomes a 2 2 and you gain one life. And four copies of a Johnny's Pride Mate. 2 2. Card seen often in modern, in like Soul Sisters type decks. A uh, card that can get very big very fast. And why are these cards good? Well, they're really good in the mirror because the the mirror the deck is capable of putting out a lot of large outputs of damage. For example, um, Pride of Conquerors, and then uh, Luis is not playing it, but most of the versions of the deck were playing um, heroic reinforcements. And this card is really really good if you kill your opponent with it. Right? You know, you make two things, you pump your team, and you kill your opponent for the most part. But if they survive the attack, this is essentially just a four mana raise the alarm, which is not very good. So, Fire Channel Fireball realized that the way they could win the mirror is just by gaining some extra life. You know, a Leona Vanguard life gain here, a Healer's Hawk life gain there. Of course, Johnny's Pride Mate will get very big very fast. There's not a lot of removal in the mirror, so this card gets very big very quickly kind of own the ground, and if you can gain, you know, six to eight life over the course of a game, that's one alpha strike off heroic reinforcements. Now you've neutered their best card, and you can win the game. So, definitely a very interesting and innovative take on the best deck. One of the best ways to attack a format is very often to play the best deck with a twist for the mirror, and that's exactly what they've done here. And nobody else had this tech except for the Channel Fireball guys, as far as I know. You know, you look at all the deck lists in the Pro Tour, and it's all Boros decks, Mono White decks, Boros decks, and this tech looks awesome. So, this is the deck. We're going to play it in a, a competitive, constructed event, and I'm excited to play it. So, let's go. So, I want to use coins, right? Let's battle. The one side of the wreckage, too. Yes, the one side of the wreckage was cute. Of course, he had a, he had a bluff with Settle. That was amusing at some point. That is some hot, hot cocoa. Alright, let's battle. Yeah, there's a best of one option, and then competitive is best of three. Best of one's fine for the drafts, but... Alright. Hand looks great. Easy keep. 
Uh, John's doing alright. He's, he's home from school. So we're going to lay on Healer's Hawk because we have the, the perfect Healer's Hawk Pride Mate opening. Pride of Conquerors. Overgrown Tomb. Okay. Gain a life. Put a counter. Red Splash for sideboard cards, Experimental Frenzy, and Aurelia. Druid of the Cowl. We draw the land. Excellent. So, um, we have to go History into Marshall with Pride of Conquerors lined up too. We should be in very good shape here. Looks sweet. So, find finality could be in our future. Or triple Druid of the Cow, alright, sure. Able to bind a hotkey for take action type effects? I'm not sure. Codes are coming. I'll be giving them away intermittently during the stream. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine. If we drew a land, we could have cities busting this, but we're just gonna play the Marshal. Even if they have, um, oh, what's it called? A fine finality. We're attacking for a million here, and we'll have a huge pride mate, so it's fine. Yeah. As you can see, deck's pretty good. Codes are coming. I put them in chat. You scramble to put them into arena. One code per player. Or one code per account, and then each code is a single use, so you gotta use it before everyone else does. I'll give away some codes at the end of this match. Alright, they're playing green black. What does that mean for us, cyborging wise? Um, baffling in to deal with the 1 3? Doesn't even seem that good. Do I want experimental frenzy? I don't know, honestly. Aurelia is pretty weak to Chupacabra and Vivian Reed. I don't love Conclave Tribunal. I don't like Pride of Conquerors in post board games either. Let's bring in the Frenzies. Isn't there a mountain in my sideboard? We need to add one more card. Maybe I don't want all. Maybe we'll do three frenzies. Maybe I'll we'll put in two baffling ends to deal with the uh, creature cheaply. Uh, let's let's cut a. Yeah, this seems fine. All right, tribunal is kind of expensive and stuff. No honor guards, yep. I mean, that card is very good in this matchup, but. Alright, hands great. Dado Vanguard, other really important card in this deck. <laughs> no, can't do that. Cheating not allowed on Arena, apparently. Uh, we're going to play the, the Healer's Hawk. It's very likely they have a blocker for the landing token, so... Ka! Two mana, no play is interesting for the... I have a bunch of two drops. Dato Vanguard, fantastic. One of the most important cards in the format. Very, very hard to kill. And they got nothing. Well, this is good for us. I suppose they could have a Golden Demise, but... I guess playing Marshall there might be better. Because they have Golden Demise. Um, although they have a Cast Down... It's, yeah. Opinion on Merfolk. Merfolk's not very good, unfortunately. 
You got a virtual set also. Chupacabra, sure. We're gonna kill the hawk, I would assume. Alright, pretty easy marshal here. Attack for a, a bajunch. A bajunch. What's a bajunch? I made that word up. Pay for life. Down to Vanguard is extra good in this deck because we're gaining life as well, so we have tons of extra life to play too. It's obviously just great by itself, but. A bajunch is about eight. It's about eight. A bajunch. Ritual of soot. Alright, well, we'll pay for life. So they killed effectively two things. They killed our history and our thing. We also dealt a bunch of damage, too, so not the end of the world. Another history. So we're going to play history again. We can do a triple one drop, but we're not really even, don't even need to play, pay for that yet. Yeah, I'm sure. You want white weenie to work in modern? I mean, with enough hate bears, it could probably work. Not like, not like be insanely good, but... Problem is like, why would white weenie ever be better than humans, you know? Coming in, paying for life. No. So no blocks is a little weird, um, because if they have this card, we're scared of is fine finality, and if they have that, they should just block to make us pay for life, and then they get finality next turn. So I'm just gonna play all my stuff. We can draw a red source also, and cast these frenzies too. So maybe, maybe we'll just play one hawk. Yeah, we'll just play one hawk actually. This is fine. Alright, they had they had the finality. So they just chose not to block last turn. That's fine, I guess. Looks cool, right? We'd love to just draw a mountain or a red source. That'd be cool. Car. That is not a red source. Cast down. So this kind of stinks as they uh, take this, then they get to um, get back Chupacabra with the Memorial Folly, kill my hawk, and now we're just like sitting here with two frenzies in our hand. Maybe we could have held back one more hawk before the finality. Just like, it did seem weird that they had it because obviously they didn't uh, block our guy. Red source, please. Hey, guess what? I just put a booster pack code in chat. Put that code in your arena, get a free booster pack. First come, first serve, one per account. Assassin's trophy, oh, we didn't put the mountain in our deck. Because we couldn't find it in sideboarding. It's a beta, it's not perfect yet. That sucks. We couldn't find the mountain in our sideboard. When we were sideboarding, we just, it just wasn't there. And now we could have cast our thing. That's really frustrating. Ugh. <sighs> 
I hit the land button. There were no basics there. Ranch walking. Top card, Wild Growth Walker. They're binning it. Getting aggressive. That's a pretty good draw. Move to combat. Gain some life. They have a kill spell in hand. They do have two cards they've been holding for a while, so I feel like a contempt or something like that is definitely likely. Yep. Well, they uh, didn't do it in the proper time, so we get to uh, gain some up. Oh, no, never mind. It's an intervening if clause. This triggers, but it has to. It counts on resolution too. So. That's how easy this game would be. We basically, we basically, basically mold a five this game. You know? Going to combat. Already cast two cast downs. Assassin's Trophy. Oh, mountain, where art thou? Mountain, where art thou? Cards of land, it's fine. It's a free booster, you know. This is the LSV list. No blocks. Big draw. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Alright, well, no rule spell. We're pretty good here, I think. I'll never not be impressed with that with how cool that looks. Okay. Um, interestingly enough, we could just say go here. If we attack with both, they, they block some stuff. If we try and set up our attack for next turn to flip the Legion's Landing, we probably are in really good shape. Um, however, if they attack us, they, they have exactly seven power. We'll have, to, we'll have to make some blocks. And I'm going to attack. We run a token coming. The problem is if we just say go, trying to set up for next turn, and they attack all, I guess the knight can just block one of the creatures and we attack back. I Maybe mean, that was bad. Yeah, that might have been bad, actually. The knight could have blocked one. They have to swing all out. Huh. Kind of a weird attack. This deck probably crushes the mono blue poopers deck. Like, into the ground. Um, not a block. Hey, I'm crazy. I, just have, I have two Frenzy in my hand. Any red source makes the game insane for us. We have another creature coming. I 
Yeah, obviously we had the mountain in our sideboard that we would have liked to have brought in. Would have been good for us, but... Still a pretty good shape here. All things considered. Booster pack code. We got some coins. We're one and oh. Right back at it. Let's go. You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're playing uh, a lot of Arena today. It's my sponsored Arena Day. That's awesome. Big thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring us. Great us streamers. I won't say great streamers I'm, I'm only a, a mediocre streamer, but lots of great streamers being, being sponsored. Um, and uh, they did a great job with their rollout on Arena. Huge thanks to them for uh, shipping some gems, some packs, and getting me rolling here on Arena. That's really, really awesome. Howl, you're welcome, my friend. Those codes are still coming. you got to stay tuned. Don't forget also my sponsors have promo codes now, too. BCW Supplies, use code JIM10 for 10% off. Gaming accessories, bcwsupplies.com, of course. Team BCW is my team. Great supplies, great sleeves, check them out. Deck boxes, deck lockers, binders. JIM10 for 10% off, and of course, coolstuffing.com, where all my articles are. JIM5 for 5% off your order. Ultimate Masters boxes, as well as all your gaming needs. Um, you name it. Saddle Orgs, Catan, board games, it's all on there. Check it out, coolstuffing.com. Of course, my article goes up every Monday, video on Monday, article Friday on CoolStuffInc.com as well. All right, we are on the play of the one lander. I mean, we draw a land, a land this hand is great, but there's too many things that, goes, that go wrong here. The second Legion Landing is not great. Pride of Conquerors is not great. Marshall and Tribunal are expensive. If we added a Johnny's Pride Mate in hand for a possible, like, turn one Hawk, turn two Pride Mate for a big payoff, I could really consider creeping, but you can't keep this end. Uh, yeah, sounds great. Mox. Uh, I like. I like bottom here. We gotta find a land for our history. Yes, Seth. I agree. Arena. I was also skeptical about Arena, and uh, after playing it for a bit now, it's it's pretty smooth and fun to play. Lenor Elfos. Alright, well, we're coming in for one. Adanto Vanguard. We'd like a land next turn. Auto tap is the bomb. Auto tap is the bomb. Admiral Ben says, Jim, if I had to box another pro magic player, who would it be? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Am I looking for a good fight, or am I looking to win easily? Or am I a masochist who wants to get the crap beat out of me? Ooh, they are, they have a pretty good hand here. Auto tap is always the bomb. Alright, look. Here's the deal with auto tap. If you don't like auto tap, it's because you're an idiot. It's as simple as that. Oh, I tapped my lens wrong and I lost. You take the card, hover it over the battlefield. You see how the Sacred Foundry is currently has a border around it? You see that? It tells you what land's gonna tap. So, hover the card, take a peek. If it's not right, then tap it manually. If auto tap ever screws you, it's 100% your fault. Auto tap's the best thing that happened to Magic in 20 years. Don't be stupid, all right? Come on. All right, um. Yeah, we should put some one drops here. They trade with Vanguard, it's fine. Happens. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who I box. I got no idea. I'll take on anyone. I would assume the Branch Walker is blocking the Vanguard, but... 
It, w- it will be on mobile, yes. It's coming to mobile. Um, when? I don't know. Not soon enough. Hopefully soon. Alright, well, get more stuff. Holy crap, dude. Again, if you're if you're casting Chamber Sentry, which is a very awkward card to play, you should probably just do it yourself. You know? But the majority of the time you're playing a two drop on turn two and you just go whoosh, and it's in play. That's awesome. Yeah, I agree. Phone might be a little much. Um, it does seem a little hard in a phone. But on a tablet, this would be great. Like, I've been hanging out in the hotel room, you know, like on Saturday after a tournament. I was playing Star Realms on my iPad. And if I, if I had Arena, I'd push play Arena, you know? How do you get all the great cards? You, uh, you pay money or you win them. I mean, you know, it's still a game you gotta pay for. It's free to play, but if you wanna have all the good cards immediately, well, then you need to pay for them. What keyboard shortcuts? Uh, Spacebar. Pay for life. I would love to pay for life. Healer Hawk's getting done. I'll we'll draw a land though. We have to draw a land soon. Yeah, um, I would be nervous to invest in Magic Online too, honestly. I, I honestly, I've been nervous to invest invest in Magic Online for um for the last, like, year or two. Once they put treasure chests on, on Magic Online, um, it changed a lot. And... Uh, target the Hawk, because the Vanguard lives anyway. Right. I, I, I also put in 100 bucks, and I was, I was able to build a few decks and draft a lot. Um, and now, of course, huge thanks to Wizards for sponsoring me, and I, they, gave me, they gave me a bunch of packs and stuff, so... I should be good to go for standard going forward. Um, the 100 bucks gets you pretty deep, all things considered. Yep, yeah, you buy gems and you can use the gems to buy packs. You know, I think, I think it's time for the booster code. More booster codes. Find getting back two creatures, sure. Yeah, they're still in beta. I imagine they'll figure out the figure out the um the economy stuff, you know. Contempt, sure. We should just draw a land, please. Yeah, like I still play a lot of Magic Online for modern and stuff like that. I had fun playing some cube yesterday. I made a video of the cube draft today, it was pretty fun. Nice pride mate, sure. Pay for life. I do wish there was an always yield, like always say yes option, but they just really just drew Plague Crafter. Yeah, I mean, that's fine by me. Got plenty of poopers to sacrifice here. Pride mate number two. Yeah, we are we are crushing people. Okay, so possible finality here, but we're gonna have a a six six. It doesn't even matter. And a four a six six. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, 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 and. 
Unstable Doc, it's going to take a lot longer than that, I think. Um, I think that in five years, Magic Online probably won't exist anymore. The problem is that I don't know if Arena can handle, like, you know, Crack Clan Ironworks or something like that, you know? Maybe it can, maybe it can't. There's our mountain. We're bringing it in. I don't know why it disappeared last time. Tribunals are out. Planes is out. I'm going to cut Pride of Conquerors. Bring in Frenzy, Frenzy, Frenzy. Baffling end, baffling end. Just like last time. I'm going to cut a bodyguard too for a third baffling end. Call it. Right, it it's it would need to be need to be worked out. Darth Benzo, what's up, my friend? If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. Arena day, sponsored day, giving away codes like candy. We got new uh, promo codes for my sponsors. Everything's going great. You all are awesome. I also have uh, some nerds rope I bought. It's a Halloween nerds rope I got on sale at CVS. Life's good, all right. Life is good. Keep double history. Uh, just booster codes. Healer's Hawk. Come on. Good draw. Turn to J1 on the play. Nerd's Rope is the bomb. Alright, they've been the play crafter. Vanguard or double one drop? Today, Vanguard. Vanguard, too good. Arena's nice and smooth. Rubber dub, you're eating nerds rope right now. God, you're lucky. Excellent. No blocks. And yeah, we can't draw his third land ever. Um, I could easily have contempt here. They just didn't have a play. They have. I don't, they don't have two black. All right, never mind. Well, we are going to play this and play this and move to combat. Protect the. I guess hawk. I mean, if we ever draw land, our hand's pretty stacked, so... Attack, attack? This is interesting. Um, what does this mean? You could have like golden demise or something. I'm gonna set a block. I knew that's not what I was gonna do. Or block. Even better. Good block, Jim. Save that life to pay for life. Smart. Now let's draw land. Didn't draw land. It's okay. Thoughts on Loxodon? Uh, it's played in some of the versions of his deck, but not this particular version. Eldest Reborn? That is not a very good party for this. Alright, land. Come on! This is insane. We have a full house. Let's go to Marshall, I think. I think history is just better. If we had all these histories in play, we'd be winning. Full house. Our full house is back. What the hell is that? 
And Aqua Glow is great. Could be worse. Could have mulled to four. Limit break, it's random. This is a random possible occurrence. People, hum, human beings have a really, really difficult time wrapping their heads around what's actually random. It's random. It takes like five lines of code for a computer to do random things. It's not complicated. Yes, they left an Eldritch Reborn against our token deck, essentially. And they're getting paid off. We draw a land, we could easily win this game. Despite it being turn like 10. I mean, it is so close to random that you could not possibly perceive a difference. Just because it's random doesn't mean it would happen in real life. That's because real life isn't random enough. Ugh. Alright, I think we're dead here. We did it, and now it's probably too late. All right, whatever. Let me tell you a story. And box. Thanks for the code. Keep making great content. I love that you have an opinion and are not afraid to state it. And I've heard you read chat and acknowledge when you're wrong. You're the second best MTGC creator. At Pleasant Kenobi number one, sorry Brit, greater than others. All out. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. More codes! What did they do? Playcrafter. Takas. Um, two history, block. Block, we're at five. We're just dead, right? Make a 3 3 and a 3 3. I guess I'm not like actually dead. We can play this thing. We'll be, we'll be playing Seth's, uh, Seth's Green White deck later in the stream also. Alright, that was obviously a rough game. I mean, we had five 3 drops in our hand forever and we're stuck on two lands. It's fine. I'm not worried. I'm gonna bring the planes back in. I'm gonna cut another one drop, I think. Should they haven't shown me um the one three yet? I, mean, I just don't want a baffling end. That's eh, fine. Slingo, no problem, my friend. Three wild cards, nice. Codes all day, courtesy of Wizards of a Coast. Big thanks to them again for uh Sponsoring this stream. Hey, a three-lander. Keep. Leonin Vanguard. I will do some drafts later, yes. I'm playing a bunch of Constructed today and then some draft. I'll be on for about 10 hours today. Something like that. Alright, so I got double history, pride mate. Life is good. Life is good. Take two. Assassin's Trophy? This card sucks in standard. Just throw that out there. I think Assassin's Trophy is very bad in his green black decks. Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna history. Hoping now we draw a frenzy. Next turn we have history and pride mate, which is dope. Land jade light. Three two is perfect. I think we're gonna just attack with the knight. We're not gonna attack with the. Uh, 
the Vanguard. Let's keep it in play. They could have Ritual of Soot, I guess. Oh, they're blocking. Their blocking scares me. As far as Ritual of Soot goes. Uh, I think we just say go here. Chupacab, that's much worse. Yikes. Baffling ends, awkward. Alright, I guess we're going wide. City's blessing. I would play Brontodon before I played Assassin's Trophy in Green Black to deal with uh, Immortal Sun. Alright, sweet. No uh, Ritual of Soot. Should be in great shape here. Double land. Alright, Wrath or Bust, opponent. Old Grandpa has to tell us a story here about the, how the knights trashed. Oh, well, they get a finality now. That sucks. Eh, that was, that was a bad play, probably. Oh, I don't have it. They get punished. I probably didn't need to baffling in there because they could have finality. I should just wait and hold it. But didn't get punished, so cool. More coins. You you gain coins at a pretty fast rate, too. All right, we're 2-0 with uh, LSV's White Weenie deck that you almost won the Pro Tour with. If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Maybe I'll put some codes in the YouTube video for all you YouTube people who feel left out. Alright, it's fun. Keep skis. Leon and Vanguard. Yeah, we can top that. We have a pride mate. We're on the draw, too? Nope, we're on the play. Alright. Line of Rolves all day, every day. Adanto Vanguard. Ooh, different Lana Rolf deck. Steel Leaf Champion's pretty big. Uh, and we didn't draw a land. Uh, we're in trouble. We can use Pride of Conquerors and kill this. Pay for life. I'm doing it. Worst Doom Blade ever, but. Thing's kind of big. Turn to uh, champion on the play is pretty good. Hopefully, we'll draw a land. Play, we can deploy some more stuff. This thing's very hard to block, also. So, get rid of the cow. Sweet. Thorn lieutenant. Fine. I really can't draw his third land like ever. Um. <laughs> What's up, Kara Crow? I agree I don't like the, the the toughness number changing. I agree with that. It can be a little misleading. Alright. Coming in. Playing Pride Mate. What's up, Video James Bodcap? Get some advice on how to play around counter spells. Tend to wait too long, worry about getting your stuff countered, and lose all tempo. Uh, play around counter spells. Ooh, they're playing the elf deck. This card's good against this. Uh, basically, you want to make make your control player play the cards they want to play when they don't want to play them. So, for example, on turn four, that's a turn where they usually cast their card draw spell. 
that's when you want to cast your, your good spell and make them counter it and play off curve. Um, and try and double spell. It's kind of an art form, honestly. It's hard to describe in one sentence. They're going to go off next turn. Honestly. Okay. We're going to Vanguard. This we're going to lead to the NC, right? That's pretty dope. Take that set up for next turn. I should have bodyguarded, actually. I'm dumb. Should have bodyguarded the Pride Mate and then attack with it? Yeah. That's sloppy. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I should have played Bodyguard on the Pride Mate. I gotta say, I gotta play, play Landing next turn, because I can't attack now. They'll block with Thrall Lieutenant and Druid of the Cowl, so. Strong Sad! The strongest of Sad Gathar to email! And the strongest of Sad to email and the email. What's up, Todd? Everyone's hi to Todd, Todd Anderson. Good friend of mine, fellow streamer and content producer. If you, seen it, if you haven't seen Todd's stream, check it out. And then the email. Hello, strong side. The immortal sun. Uh, all right. That's a thing, I guess. Another Johnny's pride mate. Man, we're going big here. All right. Todd says, just want to say thanks for always hosting me. You're asking your new gig. No problem, my friend. Happy to see you streaming. Um, Alright, so... I think our pride mate's bigger. We're kind of, like, in trouble now, honestly. Also, where's your sub badge? Right there. You got a stack of, you got a stack of dollar bills. There you go. Um, we can attack with the... Vampire just to make our pride mates bigger because so we got to start attacking and killing them now because this game's gonna get wildly out of hand Because they're gonna draw about a million cards um, I think I like that actually just, just throw this away and get make my things bigger I'm oh, sorry versus live today, right? Todd, what's the versus live lineup today? Well, I'm very very happy to be on cool stuff Inc. now and I love cool stuff Inc. and everything's going great I do regret a little bit that I can't be on the Versus videos anymore. It does make me a little bit sad. I did enjoy coming and guesting on those. Vivian Reed? They're not playing any creatures in their Beast Whisperer deck. Alright. Get a Trogdor emote? I mean, I don't know what the purpose of that would be. Main deck Shaper Sanctuary? Opponent has played Beast Whisperer. Cast five spells after it and none of them are creatures. We literally can't draw a third land. Um, okay. Now I think we have to start attacking. What did they do with Vivian? Did they not use Vivian? Oh, they're, they're, I need a second. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening anymore. I just assumed they would not play a Nambo in their deck, you know, and their cards would work properly together. Um, okay. Anyway. Can I make some attacks or something? Can I do something here? We can, we can just flip our landing. Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, Alright. We'll play Bodyguard. We'll protect the smaller one. So you go to 6-6. Six, six. This is protected. 6-6 six, six, with the Beast Whisper. I think that's... Attack! Why aren't you attacking? What is going on? Oh, there we go. It's, it's making me choose what to attack. Sure. 
and chump. Pay for life. Works for me. And then post combat will play another Legion's Landing. Just, you know, a casual Mortal Sun Vivian Reed deck. All spells, no creatures for Beast Whisperer, and so on and so forth. They seem dead. Um, Turtle Madness, resub, nine months, sub baby. Hey, oh, Jim, go give her tea some love. Oh, I didn't tap the first four. Whatever. Auto Trapper screwed me. Just kidding. It's fine. I think we're just a team here. These get bigger. What was the default? Let's just attack them. Can I do that? Oh, I hit the wrong button! Crap! I had spacebar by accident. Oh man, I, I didn't. I I just screwed up really bad. I should have attacked with everything, but I misclicked and hit the space bar by accident. That's really shitty. I don't want to protect it either. That's so bad. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. My. My, my thought process was if you hit spacebar, it attacks all to your opponent, but I was already declaring attackers, so it took the spacebar input as me saying, okay, I'm ready to attack. So that was my thought process, um, but it did not work, unfortunately. Main deck, our opponent's just playing their sideboard and their main deck. Crushing Canopy, Shaper Sanctuary, Ravine Reed, Immortal Sun, Vine Mare, sure. Alright. You blow it. That was the first draw trigger on Whisperer, yes. Can you imagine putting this many spells? Maybe they maybe their entire sideboard's in their deck, like they screwed up. Like they imported the deck and it just like their entire sideboard went into their main deck. It's possible, right? Uh, protect the I'm gonna protect the primate again, I think. Is it like 75? 42, 4, I don't know, I can't do math. 46, or 7, 8, 9, 15. Nah, no, that's 60. Yeah, it's probably just Pride Mate. Sure. Yeah, I wish I had that second Pride Bait to play. Don't play a creature. Fine there. So we're gonna have a bunch of four power attackers, which is good. These are knights also, right? Yep. So next turn, just sm slam jam with everything. Oh, I'm sorry. It's next turn. I apologize. All right. Sweet. Tom Wilson's suspension got reduced to 14 games. The goons back, boys and girls and gerbils.
Sure. Eating a vine mare. Your turn. Tom Bolson's on my on my fantasy team. Uh, that's tough. Cheap creature is not what we're looking for here. Somebody this now. I hit the pass turn button. Make my life easier. Happy hot cocoa. I said pass turn. Shouldn't that be to, like resolve everything? Please stop playing things. Is there like a F6 button on Arena? They can't use Vivian because they have Immortal Sun in play. They have five blockers. We have five attackers. Look dead to me. Charge! They block one, two, three, four, five. They take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are dead. Alpha Strike, we probably win. See, I like this, the little red. Shows what's unblocked. Dead. Did not think we were winning that game. Johnny's pride mate for the win. Alright, game two. So... I don't know if... Aurelia is good because they have Vivian Reed. But I think I want the flyer. Um, I think I want the settle. And I guess some removal spells for their bigger things. Mountain's in. Aurelia's are in. Removal spells are in. Pride of Conquerors, I think, is out. I need to decide what we're going to do here. We're on the draw. Yeah, I'm taking out Pride of Conquerors. If you're bringing in non-creature spells, probably gets much, much worse. So, And then the ground doofers get worse also, because they just don't really get through that often. So I'm pretty happy cutting the Dauntless Bodyguards. We do want Settle. Kind of land, I guess. I don't like Conclave Tribunal that much. But it does beat the... Uh, the soul sun thing. They have crushing canopy. That's true. They did have main deck crushing canopy. Maybe we just like try and kill them. Like maybe we're just faster than them. Yeah, I think I agree actually. What's the exact opposite of what I said I was gonna do? What's up, Ham? Welcome, my friend. If it's your first time here. Whose first time here is it? Raise your hand in chat from, from the YouTube streams. Usually, um, you know, we're obviously streaming here. We're also on YouTube. We get viewers from both. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Frenzy all day. Uh, we got a mulligan this one. Can't afford to miss land drops against this deck. We got to develop our board quickly. All right. It's not ideal, but... It works. No one drop. Alright, Leech is landing. Let's get lucky here and see if we can somehow deal some lifelink damage. Y'all are awesome. Welcome. Thorn Lieutenant. Love the layout. Probably the best arena stream layout. Thanks. I make all my own overlays. Hey, 
Y'all are awesome. More arena now. Thanks to Wizards for sponsoring me. Ooh. They really hate artifacts and enchantments. Like, really hate them. Good thing we have another one. Now let's just not draw any more lands ever. And another one. Okay. Yeah, we can't really attack here. Just double block. I guess we just play to the landing. I'm a Selden? Yeah. I, I, I actually grew, I grew up in Lake Grove. This will be a weekly thing. Well, my, my special sponsored arena stream is today. But I'll be playing a lot more arena going forward, so. Well, Frenzy's not in our sideboard, so it's not in our main deck. Swamp? Poison Tip Archer? What is going on? We saw no swamps in game one. Whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. Reach Death Touch. Okay. That is, uh, it's not bad, I guess. You could flip landing here, but I'll have to throw some things away to do it. Thanks for keeping me entertained while stuck at the DMV. High five. High five. New sub, not the bike man, Aether Mech resub, thanks friends. I could trade two tokens here to flip landing, or I could lose my pride mate to this t archer. Which can't really stop anyway, honestly. What's that back? It's also a bunch of triggers for the pride mate, so if they want to trade the archer for the pride mate, then so be it. Alright, that's fine. So our pride mate gets like gets huge now. Landing is flipped. Yeah, I wish there was like a clear batch button. There should be a, like a resolve resolve entire stack button. Um, I guess the Vanguard could not wait. I just cast this. Beast Whisperer. <laughs> That's aggressive. Man, we are now we're drawing all the lands. Unfortunately. Alright, we're coming in. This archer is like amusingly good against us. Alright. I think we're in trouble here. Um, they just have a lot of cards in hand, and we just had a land. Our Donna Vanguard's still doing work, but oh, never mind. I'm making a random 1 1 every turn, it's not going to matter that much. Blah, 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 unlucky, blah, 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 etc. No. We're getting elfed here. We can, we can go to the next game here. Codes! Y'all want some codes? There's a code in chat! First person to put it in an arena gets a booster back.
Um, I want some of these. Hmm. I think we're just gonna kill my opponent. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the prides in, leave the one drops in, just get him. We're on the play now. I'll just kill him. Thanks for following. Who won? Uh, we lost that game. We conceded. Hey, this hand's pretty good. Keep. Let's draw no more lands. Oh, I played the wrong creature. I was meant to play Legion's Landing. That's annoying. That's a huge tilt. Total misclick. Uh, gross. Alright. Whatever. Who won the pack? Uh huh. Whoever won the pack, post what you got. Turn two Steel Leaf Champion. That's like our hand's pretty good here. Um, we're gonna get our Pride Mates going ASAP instead of playing History. Pride Mates are pretty great, so. Caller, sure. See, it's not bad. They can't really attack. So we just mash back for a million and gain a bunch of life and stuff and flip this thing. Yeah, I can't really attack. That was a good draw. Um, now, hmm. I play Vanguard. Two five fives. I don't think I want to trade here, but I might attack with the. Hmm. So if I attack with both pride mates, if I attack with everything, they have to trade steel leaf with. I guess I would leave the vanguard back. Attack a pride mate, pride mate thing. They'll trade steel leaf champion for a pride mate, and then we can play. We flip our landing and play history. Is it better just to make my pride mates monstrous? Like they're they're getting so big every turn. I'm going to attack with just the token and make these bigger again. I'm going to attack for so much next turn. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be 8-8s eight next turn. You know? Right, they can, they can never kill these. I mean, they can build up a pretty big board, but these are getting really big pretty fast, so... Thanks for following. Yes, Poison Tip Archer will kill it. But... Peace Whisperer is good. Wow. Okay. A 9-9 nine -nine still dies to a double block, although it, re it would require the Beast Whisperer to block. Um... Is killing Beast Whisperer worth it? If like is killing as is trading one Pride Mate for a Steel Leaf and a Beast Whisperer worth it? Beast Whisperer is obviously very very good. Um, I could trade a, a Pride Mate with the, with Elf Champion Clan Caller also, but I don't really mind that. Yeah, I think I want to attack. I mean, next turn they're going to be 12 12s. 
they have five mana. They have to play a few things and draw a few cards. I don't want to throw a Vanguard away. It's not worth a difficult landing. Next turn, they're 12 12s. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm really not sure. This is hard. On the rope. I don't know. Playing history is not super relevant given the board state. The vanguards are much more important than history. That was one of the weirder blocks possible. Um, they chump block with their largest creature. Okay. Morning, everyone. Now they have I don't have enough power in play to beat my my 12 12 so That's pretty good. Sky Marcher Aspirant. I actually like that. Um I think that's also better than history. Interestingly enough, we have five. Um, yeah, that doesn't matter. All right, so let's move to combat. Do I have for coaching? Um, I have in the past. I'm too busy for it at the moment. Um, I don't know how much I will in the future. Um, I got more more requests than I can handle, and I have very little time. That's a thing I may do in the future. It will be expensive, though. So, fair warning. Because, frankly, demand is outstripping supply. By a lot. And settle is worthless. We're at 30 life. We don't need to settle. We're just going to keep making our guys huge and kill them. Spiral cycle, you should always be trying to get on the board before you cast your removal spells. I don't have Waka Waka yet. I've played, made some mistakes here and there, you know? Scorpion! It's behind the Sealer Champion. It's gone. It got away. Pinchy McStingbutt, I believe. Cliff Top Retreat. Now I get to flip, now I get to flip landing, too, which doesn't even matter, but. Alright, combat. Make these things huge. Oh, CoolStuffInc.com articles are free, actually. So, more trump blocks with large creatures, cool. How many cards in my opponent's deck? Uh, 40? It's <laughs> a lot. We're just gonna attack for 20 every turn and kill them, so it's really not that, not that big of a deal, you know? I think we're in pretty good shape here. No, clicking on these triggers is very annoying.
Yeah, I definitely need an auto yield for triggers. You know, I obviously always want to say yes to my Johnny's Pride Made trigger. I'm never going to say no. All right, I need to take a one second break, folks. Uh, back in one second, actually, I check on John, all right? The codes are coming. They've been coming out hot and hot and heavy. Cast down? That's rude. Should have killed the flyer, probably. All right, back one second, folks. Sorry for the short break. We're getting roped. Sorry about that, folks. And they've played Poison Tip Archer. Why don't these things just auto resolve? We're back. I know. Sorry, guys. John's sick. I gotta keep an eye on him. Poison tip archer blocks a flyer. That's annoying. Alright. Um. Huh. Why is this card so good against this?
I guess we did that with the primate. Right? Like, because we want to trade the archer so, we are, so our flyer can get through. Primate got uh, cast down. Alright, uh... Alright, we're in a kind of weird game state here. I mean, if they have cast down in their deck, eventually they'll draw another one and kill my guy, probably. Oh, they have Vivian Reed. I think we're going to lose this game. We can't settle them until they attack, and they're not going to attack. Yes, they are, they are definitely way ahead. I do wish there was a way to, to auto yield. To, oh, it worked. Shift enters F6. We did it. Yeah, they just get emblem and kill us. Probably gonna lose this game. Yeah, this it says reach. Bodyguard. They're not gonna deck, they're just gonna kill us. <laughs> I guess that's true, Settle does get around emblem. Alright, uh The bottom right button doesn't doesn't actually resolve triggers. That's actually pretty funny. I might have just help them. Because they have uh they had three whispers in place. They might they might have decked by playing three reaches a turn. But that's that's fine, I think. I agree they'll probably emblem and attack all, and then we'll probably just guess that'll win the game. We'll see. We're we're a we're, we're a weird game state here, I'm not gonna lie. The wilds are my shield. Thankfully we're also at 42, so these triggers won't really bother us too much. Isn't Mare unblockable by black creatures only? They have 19 cards left. Yeah, I think we actually just don't attack at all. Let them keep, keep playing stuff with Beast Whisper. Yeah, Xerox obviously here because our opponent might might uh might deck out, so Yes, codes are coming. Codes all day. Don't worry about it. They'll come. I've seen things that would break someone like you. That's why are the planeswalkers all so mean? You know? Rex Sage, sure. Yeah, Xerox, you missed it. I built a 
I said shift enter. I built a mill deck in cube. It was dope. It's on YouTube. Check it out. All right, my history's dead. I mean, that's cool, I guess, but not really necessary. The sacred texts! Shift enter. Uh. Alright, Arena's still in beta, folks. They need to work on this. There needs to be an F6 button. So I'll have to keep clicking this thing over and over and over again. Yeah, I'm missing. It doesn't matter. These tokens aren't gonna matter. The game's not gonna come to come down to that, honestly. This game's gonna come down to them decking or them playing around settle or not playing around settle. Thud would be nice. Gone for it. Nature brings your reckoning. Odds they attack all. They can also play more creatures to uh to block as well, so. Are dead. No. That was cool. Wanna find some lands? I found some lands. Now we attack all. Too shabby. Ready? Oh my god, the triggers! Honor cast Pride Conquerors! Let me cast it! They're really playing this out, aren't they? How much damage? Nice game! How do you get codes? I put them in chat for you. If you ask nicely. Raise your hand if you want some uh, codes for free booster packs on Arena. Raise your hands in chat. We're 3-0. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream again. Sorry about that delay. There's a sick, sick eight-year-old needs to be taken care of. Hey, you have a card. We got uh, a cast down. Cool. And a pack. Let's open our pack. We got... Unmoored Ego. All right, back to the battling. We're three and out with LSV's deck. It's sweet. Let's go. Three more codes are in chat. One per account, first come, first serve. Better have Arena open. Better redeem your pack, because you're getting free booster packs right here. 
you haven't followed, stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on their YouTube. I'll put a few codes in the YouTube description. So if you're watching on YouTube, check the description and good luck. Hope they aren't done yet. That was a ridiculous, ridiculous game of magic, by the way. Uh, your sock. Oh. Got a Niv Mizzet, fifth overgrown tomb. Lift op retreat. I think I like triple one drop here. I can flip up the uh, flip the landing. Ensure history next turn. Nice. You're welcome, everyone. Enjoy your codes. Combat? Assassin's Trophy? That's even better. <laughs> yeah, I think Assassin's Trophy is terrible in standard. Am I Jeff Hoogland's boss now, or how does that work? What? You mean cool stuff? No. I'm just a writer. Europe. If you don't know what they're talking about, what they're talking about is my gig on CoolStuffInc.com. That's right, CoolStuffInc.com, your number one spot for gaming. Hop on over. I have a video every Monday and an article every Friday. Check out my video from Monday, Rakdos Midrange and Standard. Go watch the video. Go comment if you like it. Blood Crypt, who needs it? Rakdos Midrange and Standard. Also check out my um, Pro Tour predictions from last week. Um, I'll be doing my my uh, post Pro Tour article this week. Predictions, I did pretty good. I did pretty good. Lots of planes. Lots of planes, all right? All right, um, we are destroying our opponent here. We're going to play, we're going to attack with everything. We're going to play double Vanguard. Codes for the boosters are unique. We just play History. They could have Ritual of Soot, which is why I want to play the Vanguards. Yeah, I'll play the Vanguards. They have main deck golden demise. I mean, sure, you know. Nope, I'm not. I'm not the, con the content coordinator. All right, green black again. Cut tribunal. Oh, the mountain's gone. No. Where did the mountain go? The mountain just disappears. If I start sideboarding, the mountain in my sideboard just goes away. Again, it's still in beta. Yeah, it's gone. I can't I can't sideboard the mountain then. That's so annoying. I'm not back in five minutes. Just this right happened now. last time. I did. Add land button. Reset? How do you reset? There it is. Found it. That was a lot more work than I thought it would be. Um, how do I get back to my sideboard now? Oh, there it is. All right. We did it. Uh, frenzy, frenzy, frenzy. Baffling in, baffling in to cut the pride of conquerors. Cut, the, cut one dauntless bodyguard. Yeah, I got planes too. Yeah, I got planes. And the third baffling end. Let's do it. Ah, fresh meat. Still in beta, folks. You know, it's still in beta. Another one land hand. Uh, we can't keep this end. Oh, again. Oh. The mountain. We found the mountain. Um, I mean, with, with the planes on top of our deck, this hand is fine.
Wow, what a hand. What a hand. So it might, might be our sample hand of the week, actually. Hold on a second. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna snip this hand. It's gonna be our hand of the week. All right. Um, I mean, we're on the we're on the draw, and we have a scry. And any white source makes this fine. I'm gonna keep. We missed. Can I play the mono blue deck that went ten zero in the pro tour? Maybe. Punished. We have um, like twenty something white sources in our deck, so found it. Now our our Dondo vanguards are much much worse. Um, playing our removal spell before before playing a threat in this deck is uh, it's real bad. Right, the odds of getting there are pretty good, so whatever. I don't regret it. Ugh. Okay. Uh, yeah. We can't beat much as far as, like, sweepers go at this point, but... Let's play our hand out and hope it gets there. Maybe we should play the Legion's Landing, actually, over the Vanguard. Yeah, that seems better. Heh. <laughs> well, you wanted the Primate, there it is. We'll see if they have any other removal spells. That's a pause, they definitely did. Tilt! Without that cast down, he might have actually won this game. I didn't even back, I just misclicked, whatever. Okay, you win this game. Game three, let's go. This deck in paper seems pretty cheap, yeah. Do I have a tilt emote? No. I'm gonna add a planes back in, I'm gonna cut the uh, bodyguard. That demise is just rubbing it in, you know? History is very expensive, but it's also one of the best cards in standard, so... Man, these one land hands are killing us. This one has the Primate Healer's Hawk opening, too. But if we don't draw a land on turn two, his hands is awful, so we get a mulligan. That sucks. Duke, I'm not actually sure. Just try it and see what happens. Alright. We can keep this. They also mulligan. That's fair. Uh, top that one. Sweet. Hawk or bodyguard? I think it's hawk. We have turned to a Danto Vanguard. Um, bodyguard's going to run into all the various crapper creatures. It was an hawk. Flying is pretty great. Who wants some more codes? Raise your hand in chat. Bam, they're in chat. 
Check them out. Codes. Free booster packs on Arena. The codes are in chat. Magic noobs, it's a fading transition. Man, they have a, a golden demise. We're in big trouble. That's actually not bad, Marshall. Welcome aboard. This is a way to play around golden demise. It's a threat that doesn't die to it. But playing history first is usually better, but I'm going to play this now. They have a Jade Light. Things could get messy. Hmm. Looks like a definite removal spell. Uh, Alright. So it's Cast Down or Moment of Craving. Right, it's Cast Down. That's fine. We just replace it with this new one. Third seven. It's going pretty well. Dawn's Bodyguard, gets, when you play it, gets linked to a creature, and then it can sacrifice to protect that creature. Overgrown Tomb, untapped, go. So they have a Rask's Contempt. Okay. Um, I guess that's fine. I guess Pride Mate Bodyguard makes the most sense. I'm gonna target the Pride Mate. They have to, they have to kill it. Yeah, they have Moment of Craving. They have double Moment of Craving. That's something else. Sure. That means Vanguard's alive. That's great. Now Pride Mate, Pride Mate goes to a 3-3. So it survives Golden Demise. Vanguard survives Ritual of Soot. So does the Pride Mate. It's going pretty good here. Seeker Squire. Alright. Alright, that's pretty good, but I think we're still in great shape. Yeah, let's go. Wild Growth Walker is now large, uh, but we're going wide pretty well. Hit Dinkin with a flyer, make a creature bigger. What's up, Ham? Thanks for the sub, appreciate that. a lot of life too. Jeez. Well, Agra the Walker is pretty good. Let me tell you a story, alright? Alright, so they're hitting a land makes this a 1-2, which is kind of nice. Walker's now 4-6, but we get to get a good attack in on our history turn. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll get him next turn. Just don't draw a Ritual of Soot or uh, the, minus, the Golden Demise, and we're fine. No Ritual of Soot, no Golden Demise. Actually, I'm sorry, Soot's actually fine. Golden Demise is the problem. Because Soot kills all their stuff, and then our Pride Mate lives, and our Vanguard lives. It's a land, they're dead. Heh. 
It auto stacks them incorrectly. That's sweet. All right. Um, we just mush, right? Yeah, we just mush. Ham, what's up, my friend? You've been playing for 16 years. If your card thought knots here, favorite deck seasons pass control. Puppy name Argyle. Ham, thanks for stopping. Appreciate that. No, we have a bodyguard on Pride Mate. It's okay. It's not a very important stack, so. Pay for life. Kill everything. You take a million. Pride Mate gets bigger. And now we have. Basically everything covered. They have Ritual of Soot. We have three, two things that live. If they have Golden Demise, uh, I guess Find Finality would have been annoying, but sweet. Am I still traveling and playing? Yeah, I was uh, at SCG, whatever recently. I came in fourth in regionals this weekend. It's not really that important, but I did so. I'll be playing in Vegas with uh, my good buddy Gary and then and my good friend Andrew Jessup as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm playing Modern. We're 4 0! Go for 5 0. Let's go. What's up, LOL? You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. Arena time. Huge thanks to Wizards helping us out. Also, my, my sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code JIM5 for 5% off your next order. Magic Gaming, you name it, CoolStuffInc.com. It's also where you'll find my articles as well. Video Monday. Article Friday. I'll check out BCW Supplies. Of course, Team BCW is my squad. BCW is a great supply company. They have an awesome gaming line. Great sleeves. The BCW Deck Art Elites. Binders, deck lockers, you name it. BCW, BCW Supplies. 10% off gaming accessories with code JIM10 only at bcwsupplies.com. Check them both out. Of course, my articles are up on, uh, on uh, Cool Stuff Inc. as well. It's kind of annoying the Pro Tour and GP was in Atlanta because a lot of the SG grinders were at our regionals. JD was in top eight. Kind of BS. Regionals are open to everyone. Why would you be mad at that? You have good players playing in your tournament. Like, you should be happy. Like, I played humans at regionals. Sounds great. Uh, I put it up yet? They have not put the deck list up yet. But, yeah, I played humans. So, keep. The sleeves are great. Put them all against the five. I mean, like, why? I, I, I don't know how you can be mad at, at, at players for showing up to a tournament, you know? Alright, Island. We're going to lead on Sky Marcher Aspirant. Which like won at regionals? Uh, Green White Value Town. I lost to him and he won. I played two Buglers. I like Bugler a lot. Alright. Not sure if this is a bad mono blue aggro draw or in some bad control draw. We're just playing a Dondo Vanguard. They might counter it, but it's fine. We have two drop, one drop next turn. Mm. Do I have any advice on as far as getting into the big tournament scene? Start off online buying a standard deck and playing in a local game store? Yeah. I mean, just play as much as you can. Playing online is great. Practice. Um, but playing in paper is good, too. Look up your local IQs and PPTQs and stuff like that and get to work. Alright. Island, Island, Island. Merfolk Trickster. Alright, well, now I get to resolve history, which is really good, so... I would trade Sky Marcher. Hey, I wouldn't. Because I have Pride of Conquerors in my hand. Yeah, never mind. No attacks. Spell Pierce away. That, that would suck. Wow, Spell Pierce. Alright. I guess I suck. I didn't play around Spell Pierce. Now, Jack gets to be all like, oh, we told you so. We're so smart. Maybe I should play the creatures. I don't know. Uh, a null is not standard legal now. 
All right, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're one short of uh, City's Blessing for Aspirant. Yeah, I'm just gonna tag with this to the Vanguard. All right, um, how about another Vanguard? How about a healer sock? How about Dauntless Bodyguard? One away from City's Blessing, so almost any card will give us the Blessing next turn. Then we have Pride of Conquerors, and we attack for a million, and we have Flying Aspirant, and life is great, so... Vanguard is so weak against Trickster. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fine. Alright, we are sleeping. We are awake. We have the City's Blessing. It's your turn. My favorite power in Kirby's Adventure was sleep. Ah! Well... I'm about to cast this Pride of Conquerors for a bajillion. They could have a counter spell, but I'm gonna kill them anyways, it doesn't really matter. Bodyguard. This is protecting the Sky Marcher. This bodyguard will protect the hero the healer's hawk. Charge! These decks play one sleep main deck sometimes. <laughs> Dive down targeting Siren Storm Tamer. Uh, okay. I think you're dead. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Pretty good matchup for us. Um, what else are we interested in? We have all these baffling ends. Uh, is there really a good in this matchup? It's a little soft to counter spells, that's for sure. But it is a big, huge flying creature. I think we just go wide. They have no way to punish to punish us for going wide. Um, I think we're just going to bring in our three baffling ends, cut two tribunals, and maybe cut we cut one Pride of Conquerors. I don't think Banefire is where you want to be. I think it's more about just getting getting on the board. There's free codes. I'm just giving out free codes like candy. I don't want Aurelia. I'm going to cut... Um, I think I'm going to cut the Healer's Hawk, actually. I think Hawk seems worse. Actually, I guess it's, it's better with the... Right, I'll cut a Sky Marcher Aspirant. The flying seems less important. Yeah. Cool. I don't think Bane Fire is necessary. Just want to get on the board and kill him. Bane Fire is for control decks. They really keep in a bunch of counter spells. I mean, they have to, right? Like, that's what their deck is. Push back codes, ready? Who wants them? Booster back codes. Booster back. Oh, who wants it? Uh, keep. Hands great. Bodyguard. Booster pack codes. Bush pack codes. Booster pack codes. What's up, Rick? Opt. 
Count, concede. Concede. Four more codes coming. Let's see some hype in chat for some codes, all right? Here they come. Bam. Four codes in chat. Put your codes in. One code per user. First to use it gets to use it. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Danto Vanguard or double one drop? Um... Vanguard does get ambushed by the Trickster. No, I want to have one drops to fill out the curve later, too. This is fun. What are the codes for? They're codes for a free booster pack of Guilds of Ravnica on Arena. Big thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring me in this stream and uh, providing the codes as well as providing me with some packs and stuff to get going. Curious Obsession. Obsession. Alright, well, this is why this deck is good against them because this, this is their best possible like card. And we just kill them before they can use all their cards. So, something white. Daytona white by Glassjaw. Daytona white, you're leaving me behind. That song. Daytona White. I used to be so self-conscious about singing, and now I just don't care. Being when you once you when you get old, you just don't care about anything anymore. You're just like, yeah, whatever. I can't sing. Who cares? All right. Um, we're gonna mush. We're gonna try and kill this. Um, I'm gonna play Leon and Vanguard first to gain a life. Okay. I'm gonna attack. If they ambush me with Trickster, it's fine. I can kill this Herald. Killing the Herald is literally the number one priority, so. How old am I? I'm 34. I'm really old. Pre-combat Trickster. They could have, uh... Ambushed my Vanguard, but chose not to. Okay. I'm fine trading here. We're gonna have a nice, em nice empty board. So they can use the uh, Trickster after I attack to remove the abilities of Vanguard. And then uh, it's a 1-1. One, one. They can just block it. Concede. Concede. This is Nilla with the Mythic Wild card. Nice. Only gas from my packs. Arena booster pack codes. Sky Marcher Aspirant. Yeah, we're feeling pretty good here. Um... I'm going to assume they have a counter spell. We're not going to play the Marshal. We're going to go one drop, one drop. Ah, I screwed up. I hit the space bar by accident. I meant to play creature pre-combat. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, they have Trickster anyway. All right. Well, now I can safely cast Marshal post-combat, so... March of Multitudes. Nice ball. Is everyone using it? Is, is more than one person using each code? Is, that, is it working like that? I feel like we're getting more people saying what they got than codes I gave out. Alright. Um, we're going to play triple one drop. We could have a bounce spell or a trickster. Alright, Vanguard's coming in. Um, three, six, seven, that's eight, nine, ten, yeah. Just play everything. Falls, sweet. Hey, Glass Draw's awesome. That's a, that's a really good album, Falls. Check it out. EP, I suppose. I think we target the... the Vanguard, so if they use a Trickster on it, not that they would. They're not going to use it right anyway. Who cares, actually? I 
Oh, one code can be redeemed by multiple accounts. However, any code can redeem just one code. I don't understand. I'm just gonna keep, keep I'm just gonna keep giving codes out. You all can figure it out. All right, we have City's Blessing. We gain some life. I'll attack with just a Donto Vanguard. I just have to use Trickster right this time. Pay for life. So why do you need to have a bajillion codes then? Why does it matter? Wouldn't it just be the same code every time? I don't understand why there's different codes then. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. Again, this is why this is a really good matchup, because they have no no kill spells in their deck. So unless they have, like, sleep here. Okay. This is 7 and 7 is 14. Alright, I mean, I guess we could die here. Alright, blocker's great. They have no cards in hand, and as long as they don't kill us... We untap and kill them with Pride of Conquerors. Oh, we gain life too, that's dope. But if each person in an account could only use one, then why not just have the same code for everyone, you know? I don't get it. It's fine. Five, six, seven, eight. We untap and we kill them. They have no cards in end, sure. There's no point in blocking. Heh! <laughs> Charge! I assume it's lethal, I didn't do any, I didn't do any math at all. It's plus two for each attacker, like Well, I'm just gonna keep giving codes out, and you guys are gonna keep getting packs, and everyone's gonna be happy. So, 5 0 LSV, Broken Pro Tour deck. Woo! I like it. Bam! We get some uh, daily rewards too. We got a Vine Shaper Mystic and a booster pack. Oh, we, only, we only get packs for constructed? Right. Get some cards. Here we go. Who wants to see some cards? Which one, do I, which one do I do first, chat? Left, middle, or right? Left, middle, or right? I mean, M goats, just because the, the small sample size didn't work out in their favor doesn't mean, doesn't mean the deck's not great. I'm gonna listen to... Kin. Kin says middle. Urza's Ruinous Blast. I might I might play mo Mono Blue. I have a different decks lined up. Right. Emperor's Vanguard. Left. Dismissive Pyromancer. Hmm. Alright, cool. Open this pack too. Boosty pack. Ooh. I already have four of those. That's still. Alright, whatever. Alright. Well, that's gonna do it for, for this this deck. We're gonna move on to our next deck. What's it gonna be? We'll see. But for the YouTube video, that's going to do it. Once again, thanks to Wizards of the Coast for um, for uh, for the sponsorship. For watching on YouTube, make sure you follow the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Right, YouTube? The stream will continue. The YouTube video will not. So, see you guys soon.